Heating Fuel Storage Tanks, Chapter 9, Abandonment. Normally, fuel tanks that are permanently out of service should be removed from the property and disposed of properly. However, in some situations, it may be impossible or extremely expensive to remove the tank, and it must be abandoned in place. In many jurisdictions, closure of underground tanks requires companies be registered and certified. In areas where it's legal to abandon tanks in place, the guidelines of the local authority having jurisdiction must be followed. It is important to note that procedures are different for above ground storage tanks versus underground storage tanks. The requirements for abandonment generally follow the following procedures. For above ground storage tanks, remove liquid and residue from the tank and connecting lines and keep a record of removal. All waste products removed must be disposed of in accordance with all local, state, and federal regulations with the records retained. All connected supply lines must be disconnected, removed, and properly disposed of. The filled pipe and tank gauges must be removed and properly disposed of. And all tappings, except the vent tapping, must be securely plugged. The tank must be rendered free of vapors and provisions must be made for natural breathing to ensure the tank remains vapor free. The tank should be stenciled with the date of abandonment and the tank must be protected from flotation in accordance with good engineering practices. For underground storage tanks, NORA recommends that only licensed and certified contractors should be involved in the closure of underground storage tanks and that the guidelines of NFPA 30 be followed whenever an underground storage tank is being abandoned or removed. In particular, Annex C of the 2018 version or the equivalent section of later versions of NFPA 30. And it's very difficult to access the site for evidence of a release when in-ground tanks are abandoned in place. NORA cautions that closure of fuel storage tanks requires preparation of a safe workplace, and requires adherence to OSHA safe work practices, including proper confined space entry and the use of individuals certified as competent persons in excavation as applicable. For abandonment of in-ground tanks, NORA recommends an environmentally safe and solid inert media be placed inside the tank. Use media that will not contribute to the deterioration of the tank, that will not shrink over time, and that will not emit any hazardous substances during or after abandonment. In areas where it has been approved, the abandonment of tanks using a non-shrinking foam that could be inserted through the fill pipe offers several advantages. Damage to the customer's property is minimized. The chance of leaving voids or partially filling a tank is minimized. The chance of ground settlement is minimized. And if the tank has to be removed later, it's easier than removing a tank filled with sand or slurry. For further information on tank abandonment, see NFPA 30.